Hi, uh, Warrior. It's Travson here, and welcome back to our adventures in Azeroth. Today, we are in Stradholm. Let's pick up these quests quick. Quite a few quests to pick up. I'm happy that we got this dungeon. Just in time for Halloween. Talk to me. Watch your back. Hope you guys are doing well today. You got my attention. I am doing pretty good. Be good. New updates came out. Well, a graphic update came out. Supposedly they uh, increased the HD textures, guys, or reworked them. And I downloaded it. It was quite the download, guys. 42 gigabytes for that. So the game should, I guess, look a little bit better. Maybe there's, there's more detail, I guess. I haven't noticed too much yet, but... I just started playing. But that's a lot of gigs for texture updates. But I have a bunch of space, so... I was like, you know what? We'll give it a try. And the Firelands update is live as well for Cataclysm. And the raid is coming out on... November 7th. I think that was my favorite raid. Cataclysm was, was Firelands. Pretty good raid. Let's see where we gotta go here. So we'll head over this way. We got Stratholm. I think this is the undead side. Pretty sure. Or is this the live side? Could be the live side, because we are heading to this cathedral over here. Yeah, I think this is for going, uh... Yeah, this is Stratholm, I guess, living side, you could call it. Strat live. And there's another side that's, uh, that's an undead side. There's a health pot here. They hit pretty hard. Be all right. We got some casters casting on this other warrior. Use last stand. Come on, guys, do some here. Don't have to run away. Looks like we're doing it. Awesome heals by the healer. Had to use pretty much all of our defensive cooldowns there. But it was worth it. Kept us alive. Right, so let's head over here. Uh, Priest man is looking pretty good. Even after all those heals. This cast or not quick. I believe we have to pick something up here. Stratholm Courier. There it is. The Grim Tobacco. Premium Grim Tobacco. Did we get it? I guess Eric Grimm doesn't like us touching his tobacco. Is that a Torin priest? <laughs> it is. I forgot Torrens could be priests. I guess if they can be paladins, right, they could be priests. We're getting beat up a little bit here. Did we get the tobacco? Or did we miss something?
Yeah, we got the premium tobacco now. Nice. All right, moving on, guys. Next stop, we got to fight Timmy. Timmy the Cruel. I'm not too sure if this Timmy guy is referring to Timmy from South Park, but maybe. This is the worst place to die in this dungeon. The rats. <laughs> It's rough and vanilla if you only come in here as a tank because you don't really have as a warrior tank because you don't really have a lot of AOE like we do in Cataclysm. Really, we only have like Thunderclap and it doesn't do that much damage. This priest is doing a lot of damage, too. It's like third on damage for that pull. Let's go get Timmy. There he is, Timmy. <laughs> that has to be from South Park. We got a, got a big, big patch. We're coming over. Finish off Timmy and then we'll pawn him. Nice shackle. We have a shackle undead right there. The Gwimmar new strap cloth waist, 74 armor, nine stamina, nine intellect, and 13 critical strength. Bad for the priest and the mage. All right, well, we're finally making it over to live side now. There's actually a quest over here, guys. We have to slay the Unforgiven. You're over here. Yeah, over here. Quest. I forgot about this guy. There's a quest over here, guys. We got to slay the Unforgiven. Forgot about this guy. Like nobody's following us though. Wow, righteous orb dropped. I forgot about these. These were uh popular popular enchanting material back in vanilla. Great it's a great way for tanks to make gold. You would uh hey, these guys are just not listening to us, say. Eh? Should I just pull or I think they're coming back, yeah. Yeah, it was great enchanting material. And as uh, tanks and healers would make gold this way, they would like, um, why would do this? You do like a strat home live run. And you would, uh, oh, you're getting wrecked here. Yeah, you do a Shred Home live run and you, you would just res the Righteous Orbs and then... And then um, all the other gear would just go to... You know, people that needed gear from Shred Home Live. Okay, I need to eat after that. That was quite the pull. Good thing we didn't pull without the, ta without the healer. Actually, the healer wasn't even there for that. <laughs> Excuse me, guys. I don't know where the heck that came from. 
Here we go. All right, let's pull. Market row post box right here. Some postmen came out of that box. It's funny, the tank and the healer are doing the most damage. Yeah, healers can do damage. If you're not really healing much, you might as well just do damage. Okay, here we go. This is the, the unforgiving boss. Can't put a bleed up on him because he's a ghost, I believe. That's why it's not working. But I can sunder armor. No, it's dodging a lot of our attacks. We need some more hit rating. Really do. A lot of our attacks are missing. The under unforgiven slain and soul breaker drop 31.5 damage per second one handed axe and chance on hit target enemy loses 14 health and mana every three seconds for 30 seconds it's pretty good for us we will need that and dust face won it see the heck type of warrior is he Looks like he might be a Fury Warrior. Yeah, he is. All good. Interesting spec to level with. Usually, people like warriors go arms. Oh, here we go. Not that big of an upgrade, but it would have been nice to win. Watch out, pulling a lot here. The Righteous Orb drop. This would be a pretty good run. I'm going to die. Can I run away? Nah, no, he's got heals. Looks like we're pulling everything here. Healer died of this attack the healer. Dust face. I wonder if you get whirlwind. Do you get whirlwind as a you must? We got rock there. Might have pulled too much there. I don't think we pulled that much. It's just more stuff started coming out of the out of the cathedral, I believe. Let's turn in the quests we completed. Retribution and How are you? the Great Fraz C B. Yeah, I think we could have handled that if we just had a little bit a little bit more damage. We did pull quite a bit of stuff though, and then the healer died, so it's a little bit it's on me too. I didn't I wasn't able to get everything somehow. I think I pulled too much there. But the, the thing is I wasn't like, you know, running around trying to pull stuff. Usually, if you want to play it safe here, you, you, you pull pull stuff back here. 
like behind these boxes. I just wanted to, I don't know, I guess run in and see if we could handle it. We did kill quite a bit. And there's nothing here anymore. It's just this guy. Okay. We were alright. There's another health pot. If you have last stand, I'll use last stand again. You'd be good. I guess, uh, yeah, we probably just pulled this stuff. I don't know how... I guess I should have brought it back. But here we go, guys. We're going into the Scarlet Bastion. It's pretty much the beginning of, of the live side of Strat... Stratholm. Remember this part being... kind of freaky. There's this patrol here that you can pull. There he is. Gotta watch out for that. I'm just more, I don't know. I like to try stuff in, in, in Cataclysm because you feel like your character's pretty overpowered, right? Like, normally, if I was tanking, and like we were actually playing vanilla, I, I would range pull a lot. But in Cataclysm, it just seems like you can pull a bunch of stuff and not really have to worry about much. Dustface is using Whirlwind. He's just heroic striking. Well, he has a bunch of rage, though. Because he can do so much damage as a warrior. As, as arms. I'm not too sure what Fury's like, though, in the Cataclysm. I'm not too sure if they have Whirlwind. But if you got Whirlwind, like, I, I was doing tons of damage with a Whirlwind when we got it. Leveled up, guys. Level 45. We got a new talent available. Escape pants. Let's check out this new talent here. I think we'll take uh, improved revenge. Increases the damage of your revenge ability by 30% and causes revenge to strike an additional target for 50% damage. So we got AOE Revenge now, guys, and it does more damage. Let's head down here. I'm gonna go fight the cannon, cannon boss.
playing it safe. Is that dust face? What's dust face? <laughs> dust face. Just watching us. I swear, I swear, I swear he has us on follow. Oh, I like dust face. For sure watching a movie. Well, he's getting, getting leveling up. Last time, guess. Willie Hope Breaker. Cannons drop. Shoot cannons in the back here. It's gonna be a bunch of uh, ads coming in the back. And I guess we'll just kill this guy, then we'll deal with the ads. But see those ads back there? You're supposed to shoot cannons at him. Wonder, wonder if I should do that. Maybe I'll fear the boss. Can I fear him? Nice no, in some cannons at this guy. Get him! Oh, he missed. He disappeared after the boss died. Alright, Master Cannon your boots drop. 340 armor, 13 strength, 9 stamina, improves critical strike rating by 9. More strength, more armor, less crit. I'm gonna need him, why not? Necreus Shell Necklace, 8 stamina, 8 intellect, 8 hit, or hit rating. Pretty good for the casters. Anything else I need? Is there anything I need to get here? Risen Hammersmith slain. I gotta find out where that guy is. Maybe we have to uh, help him rise up. Is this him here? He's supposed to be here. It's right here, right? Yeah, there we go. Nice. Yeah, we had to touch that little scroll on the ground. Okay. Here we go. There you go, dust face. Get him. You put in, you put in some work there. I'm just going after Dustface because he took my axe. <laughs> I'm, just, I'm just choking her out. I think all WoW players like loot, you know what I mean? It's just something, something we all have in common. I've never met a WoW player that doesn't really care about loot. And when they say, like, I don't care, I've had tons of like, people in guilds that are like, yeah, I don't really care, man. Let, let someone else have it. They eventually like care about loot. There's nobody that just doesn't care. And when they say they don't care, they're just trying to... Uh, trying to be a nice guy, I guess. I, I really don't know why they do that. Or it's maybe it's just a piece that they don't really want now, and then later on they uh you know they care more about another piece so they just let that one go Yeah, it's been a pretty good run. Yeah, even even with that wipe, man. Like, it's been good. That wipe was my fault. 100%, I think. I think I pulled all that. I don't know if, like, maybe the mage did, pulled stuff. Pretty sure most of that was me. Let's keep going here. I think we can pull more. Got our defensive cooldown, so it should be fine. Oh, 
Look at all the righteous orbs dropping. We would be rich. I've never seen that many drop. How many drops today? Like four or five? They were going for like 50 to 100 gold each. At the beginning of Classic. Back in... Uh, the, or the launch in like 2019-2020. I think they were pretty damn expensive too in Season of Discovery. I'd look another one. Like they just <laughs> drop like crazy in here. All right, so let's get the, the, the of love and family painting. Let's take a little, little screenshot here. These guys are like, what the heck is this guy doing? And there he is, Bal Nazar. Bad, Mr. Roke. You fools think you can defeat me so easily. Face the true might of the Naz, the Nath regime. And Demon Shearer dropped two-handed sword, 41.2 damage per second. Sends a shadowy bolt at the enemy, causing 177 damage, shadow damage, and dealing 47 damage every two seconds, six seconds. We're going to need that. You got it. Nice. Dustface won't use it because he's Fury, right? He uses one-handers. It's, it's a fair rule. Shroud of the Nats regime drop, cloth shoulders, 99 armor, 11 stamina, 11 intellect, and 11 crit strike rating. Elagor Dawnbringer says, regrettably, Balnazar is not yet finished. Defeating the Dreadlord is in the mortal plane only sends him back to the Twisting Nether. He will be back one day, perhaps even working again with his brothers, Vermathris and Deathrock. Let's turn these in quick before people start to, to leave. I guess we'll take the plate legs. Nah. I'm going to take the back piece. 7 Agi, 10 Stam. We need the hit rating. Give 7 hit rating. 66 armor, 7 Agi, 10 Stamina, 7 hit rating. I think that's pretty good. And there's another quest here. Cutting the competition. Nicely done, lad. Without them, new weapons, they're just as easy to kill as they were when they were alive. All right, there we go, guys. That was Brat Home Live. It was a fun dungeon. I enjoyed it. We did get a level, so let's see if we've unlocked any new dungeons. Looks like it's the same ones. We can. Sit, I hope we get into Razor Fen Downs. That's a pretty good one. That's going to be the end of today's episode, guys. As always, thanks for watching. Keep your heads up. Later.